You just wish you had your, your mama here to make you a, just a, a ham sandwich, a grilled ham and cheese, or a sausage egg and cheese sandwich. Damn, you need your mama to do that. Hey, that would be amazing. Hey, who can't raise this thing up? Y'all? I can't raise zero. No, that's zero, uh, yeah, I Zero sugar? No, I don't like that. You don't like that spark. If I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it, just go and get it to me. Yeah, don't give me that fake sweets. Welcome to Lake St. Clair. It's pouring down rain. It's windy, it always is. It never stops. It's always windy and wavy. I don't really know how to open this video up, but I, I don't right know. now, this weather is not hitting on much. Um, this is day two practice. I got B in the boat with me. I have not had a bite yet. I'm a little bit seasick, but this should be a good video. Y'all stay tuned. I'm so mad that it's raining and windy. Oh, this could be so good. Listen out of here in the ocean. A brownie. I got me a brownie. All right, so that fish followed up a crankbait. Not a big one, not a big one. Not the kind we need. But look at his mouth, check this out. See his mouth right there? See that's all. That's a normal mouth. Somebody ripped his lip off. Sometimes that'll cause you to miss him. quarter gotta keep in mind this time of year they're spawned out so that fish don't even like he's spawned out. I mean, he's he's starting to fatten back up so that's the thing but uh that's a good fish thank you baby
they were right here. Like, they're all over the place. You had it. Come on. You got it. Oh. Them like smallmouth, and they, they, and they were smallmouth. Yeah. Deeper there were them big ones. Oh, there's a pull up there. A missile. Look at him. He's like a little missile. See a missile back down at the bottom? Mm hmm. That's a small one. 110 percent right. What is him? Another good fish. Oh, Just come on. Oof. How about you not come up with him? <laughs> that was a four pounder. He's a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger than what I thought he was. <laughs> he was a big one. I can't swing for it. Starting to get interesting. Molly purchase it. Purchase it. Okay. It's a good one. Is that a good one? That's a good one. You gotta be careful grabbing them right there. They got a little plate on their side. Stop what you're doing. You little spiny, mean sucker. You want to open the live wheel? Yeah. We got dinner. We got dinner. That's a good fish. Heck yeah. Mayflies. He was just spitting up mayflies like crazy. They're, 
God, look at that big old crawfish he spit up. Crawfish and mayflies. Look, he's got crawfish and mayflies. Big old crawl pappy. Big and too. Brett said, what? Small guy, look, he got a little dark spot on his head. How about that? Mayflies and crawl pants. So we just slid through an area, and if you notice on this, if you notice on the active target, there ain't much grass at all. As you can tell, I'm panning around, there ain't much grass. And I'm trying to get a pattern to go in together. I mean, I don't, this place is just like a big old bowl. It's like Okeechobee. So you have to keep in mind, you just got to mill around. So, and the only way to differentiate the whole lake is to figure out what areas have grass, which areas don't, see if they like the grass, they like sports. There ain't no grass through here and I've caught the crap out of them. But all the smaller ones are in, the bigger ones are out. So this area is pretty much a wrap for me. I. I feel like I could fish eight hours out through here. So I'm gonna get out of this little area. God, there's so many boats right through there. I'm gonna get out of this area. We're gonna go to Canada. We cannot fish in Canada. I gotta put all these rods up. The Canada season opens up this coming Saturday. Actually tomorrow. Yeah. The Canada season opens tomorrow. So I'm gonna go to Canada and just pan around and just look probably for the rest of the day. Um, we're gonna keep y'all updated. Today's a big day. It's practice day number two. All right, update time. I'm seasick. <laughs> he said, Brett was like, you gonna talk? Yeah, I was waiting. You I was like, no, does he know I'm recording? I do know. All right, we're in Canada right now. A, e. Canada A. E. Uh, we cannot fish in Canada, but we can we can idle and we can just look. Um, I haven't really found anything that was like super special, super special yet, but we're over here around the Bell Island hump. There's actually one right there. That's a smelly. And you can tell on this active target if they're smallmouth. I mean, a, a lot of times you can tell. Just because sometimes those carp or either their drum or walleye, they, they look totally different. They're like faded looking. The smallmouth are real solid. So, the big ones that are just roaming on the bottom, you know them ain't smallmouth. I'm not saying that this might be better over here in Canada but their opener is Saturday, which is tomorrow. So I feel like there's a lot less boat traffic over here. These fish might not be as smart because them suckers in the USA are smart. That's the update as of right now. Quit raining. Barometric pressure is uh, probably about 30.5. If it ever dropped down to like 30.1, I think that they start biting big time. You know what I mean? I really don't. Yeah, barometric pressure is 30.1. If the wind would go down to about four knots instead of like nine, that would be cool too. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover at 73%. If it would drop down to 30% cloud cover, they'd really start chewing. You're throwing out a lot of numbers. Yeah, Bill Nye. <laughs> we may go over to Walpole, uh, Native American reservation. Yeah, but isn't it Walpole technically in Canada? Yeah. So they're not Native American. Ah, you are right. The natives. The native. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's North America that they're talking about. I don't know. I don't know either. I'm just here to pose questions. Well, they're not Native Americans. They're Native Canadians. There you go. Native Canadians, because we are in Canada. Yeah. This is Canadian water. Yeah. Who's their prime minister? Uh, Trudeau? Ch yeah. Man, that guy hates guns. He he hates a lot of things. He hates life. <laughs> I think a lot of people hate him. <laughs> if it was up to him, we would not be in Canada right now. But I guess it is up to him. So anyway, enough with the rambling. We gotta find some smallmouth. I cannot cast. 
So I'm just up here trolling around. Brett's gonna fall asleep on my. I already have twice. You may not have known, but I already have twice. Yeah, I, I kind of want to go sleep. Can I? I need a bed. <laughs> yeah, I need a bed. See him up in the water column. Yeah. That is not a small lake. See how faded and how big he is. That's not him. See, he's real faded. Now that guy on the bottom coming up might be one. I got this polarizer filter. You can't really see the screen. So. Well, we'll take your word for it. Yeah, take my little word for it. I don't know what I'm talking about. I never know what I'm talking about. Seven selects the green apple rings. These are artificially flavored. They ain't got no natural flavors in them, but they're good. I'm on the U.S. side now. We ran across. I just, I don't know. This is the biggest confusion. I have not caught any biggins in, and ain't caught no real biggins out. And I've spent the majority of my practice in like 15 foot. 16, 15. I tried deeper, but they ain't out there. Theoretically, you would think they would be still kind of locked up in between up here. And we got a mayfly hatch going on. But I ain't caught them shallower. I have just, I had, I got up here in 12 foot, I ain't caught nothing. So, just keep bumping around until we find them, find the bigger ones. I don't know, got about two hours left. I went to Canada. I didn't really like it over there. I mean, I liked it over there, but we couldn't fish. So all I did was just pan around. And I seen, you know, a ton of fish. I don't know if they were bass. I ain't got to So it's a really a massive unknown over there. Yeah, I don't know. I went all over it. I, I mean, I'll be taking a stand. What was that? <laughs> I'll be taking a chance over, you know. I wish I could just hook one of these daggum gummy things on there and catch a big one. I don't know. That's the best part about fishing, finding them. Finding a puzzle, I love it. I love putting the puzzle pieces together. Got about two hours left. What about uh, yesterday? How was yesterday? You stayed over here yesterday, right? America? Uh, I stayed in the U.S. side yesterday. I did not go to Canada. I'll probably end up in Canada in the tournament. Maybe, maybe not. I, I don't know. I have not really found somewhere that has like hammerheads, five, six pounders. I ain't found that yet. I, I don't know. So I don't know whether it's a one spot deal or whether it's a pattern. I don't know. It's kind of got me scratching my head right now. I do know this, it's been a daggum rainy, cloudy, windy, bullshit day. It ain't good for $4,000 cameras. No. I've been doing a lot of snacking too. My teeth are about to fall out of my head from all this candy. You know what the serving size for one of them is? What? Three. A hundred calories for three. Oh my God. Three. Good thing I spit them out. Mm -hmm. All right. There's your update. Oh. 
big old cat, son. Welcome to it, son. What a life. We're on a freaking bag. I didn't even know was in here. Golly. Man. At least give my weight back, my boy. That's a big dummy. That's a big catfish. What do you need? weight back at least my weight or my hook or something both of them i don't know don't bend my hook stop what you're doing stop what you're doing stop what you're doing. you piece of monkey <laughs> got to mighty mm. i didn't even touch the line this week i should have just grabbed my weight and just let him have the hook that makes me so mad. I think we're done for a day. Screw this place. Hot tamale. All right, guys, here we are. We're just wrapping up practice for you guys. We are on St. Clair tomorrow, okay? Adrian fished today. He had a decent day. He's a little bit below the cut. I went to Saginaw Bay today and grinding my butt off. The, the, it never ends. Jacob, how you feel about St. Clair? St. Clair. I think it's tougher than it normally is for big ones. I think it's uh, got a lot of bass like St. Clair always does. My goodness, it does. It's got so many bass. But, um, I mean, I think it's a, it's it's going to be a grind to catch four pounders. That's, that's the That is going to be a grind. As you could tell from practice, like I caught that one in practice, and I was like, that's the right kind this week. Like a 385. Like a 420, that's the one. You need those fours. Them are very key. Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow we reel some in and I can hear it behind me. Y'all hear it? Can you hear it? Can you smell it? Maybe blowing in some wind off the uh, <laughs> How you gonna smell wind? That's a that's a heavyweight's reference. Smell it. Can, can you, you smell, smell it? it? It's in the air. Oh, that's what it it's is. It's the movie Heavyweight. Okay. Look, look at the trees. That is an indication that I'm launching my boat for because it's gonna blow its ass off. Guaranteed, 100%. What do you think, Jacob? Guaranteed, 100%. It blows its ass off every, every day. Time. Every day. I hope all my sponsors right. call me and say, you gotta quit cussing on your channel. It's blowing its ass off tomorrow. 100% fact. I cannot wait. So, I'm gonna go sit in five foot waves and pitch around and use my active target. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna tie on a drag and drop <laughs> and drop it on some's dome. So y'all stay tuned. St. Clair is coming at you next. I don't know what I'm going to catch, but we appreciate you tuning in. Like, subscribe. We'll see you.